Hey guys, I thought I would do a video and share with you what is in my beach bag. So for starter, this is from Stella and Dot and it's the navy stripe, how does she do it? And the cool thing about this, and I'll show you once the bag's empty, it kind of collapses. Like right now, this is like essentially a beach bag or a tote. It actually can collapse, snap on the side and turn more like into a purse. Um, so I love this. It's a perfect, perfect bag for the beach. Has a pocket on the outside, which I don't actually have anything in. I'll probably slip my phone in there once we're actually on the beach, but I don't have anything in there right now. So I'll just jump right in here. This fits a lot of stuff. Um, I was actually surprised because I normally take this bag like to my parents sometimes when we go swim there on a weekend. Um, and I just throw like a bunch of like little things in here, but now I actually have like it's pretty much jam-packed. So the first thing I have are just sunglasses. These are by Tom Ford. I've had them for a couple of years. I don't really remember the name of them. They're like a pretty golden with beige. Um, they're actually dirty, need to be cleaned. <laughs> so sunglasses, a must. I have a bottle of water in here. Um, my bathing suit, which normally I would probably have it on already, but I wanted to share with you the bathing suit that I, one of the bathing suits that I'll be taking because it's so freaking cute. Um, this one's from J. Crew, and it's a high-waisted kind of skirted bikini bottom. It's ruffled. This is really nice for anybody that just had a baby and maybe you don't want to have like your entire, you know, stomach sticking out. Um, it kind of comes up a little bit higher so you can hide any of that baby fat and then this is the top it's just a triangular bikini it ties at the top and goes around your um, side and just clips like that so I thought this was really cute I absolutely love navy and so I had to have that and then I have a beach cover-up this I got from Target I think last year or the year before that it's basically just a kind of almost looks a little tribal-esque. Um, I got this in an XXL because I purposely wanted to wear it as a beach cover-up. As you can see, it has a really wide neck, so it'll kind of drape over one shoulder or the other. And it's pretty long. It's actually a high-low shirt. And then the, the sleeves are pretty baggy, so I don't think I'd ever wear this like as an outfit. But I thought it would make a really cute beach cover-up, and it matches the bathing suit really well because the bathing suit has like those beigey ivory polka dots. This is easy just to slip on, and it's nice because it's um, it has a lot of holes where you will get nice air through that, so it's not really heavy. I also have this little bag. I actually got this when I bought my Missoni Havianas. Um, it came. This is how they came in. I thought this was so cute, so I keep this in my beach bag. It's just another little bag, and I always love like sectioning stuff off in my bags, um, just so that you don't have like one big jumbled mess in the middle. So in here I keep my sunscreen. This is my absolute favorite. It's by Kula and it's their um, organic sunscreen, SPF 35. It's a spray. Comes out very fine. It's not like a spray where you have to spray it on and then rub it in. It's a very fine mist. It um, covers like a lot of area. It has SPF 35 and this is in the, the scent Citrus Mimosa. The Pina Colada one is actually my favorite. I like that one better but um, I already used that one up. And it's organic, which is really nice. It's a safer alternative. Also have this one in here. Oops, my ring got caught on the netting. This one is from The Honest Company. And this one is SPF 30, broad spectrum. Um, it's actually safe for babies, though. We won't be putting any on. Addison, her pediatrician, said no sunscreen until six months old. She's not really going to be in the sun anyway. But if you are someone that has little ones, just so you know, it is safe for babies. Um, and it's water resistant for up to 40 minutes. Um, I actually am going to do a whole video reviewing the Honest Company as a whole. I'm now on my second package from them. So I've been really trying to try like as many products as I can so I can give you like a thorough review. As for the sunscreen, I'll just mention really quick. I don't love it. I like the Kula one better. For one, I just prefer a spray versus like a lotion. But this leaves behind like a serious white cast even after... Um, we wear this. Nick and I both had it on the one day we were by the pool and then we came out of the pool and it was fine but then after we were take it after we both took a shower it almost seemed like it wouldn't come off like there was still like a white cast on us so I'm gonna give it another try I have it in here as a backup because I don't really have much of this left and I don't have any more of this um, so I did bring it anyway I'm gonna obviously use it but it just seemed like it was harder to get off which I guess is kind of a good thing because then you don't have to worry about burning but um it's it's okay. I like that it does the job. It's efficient and it's um, it's safe. Um, 
doesn't really have a scent to it either, so that's kind of nice. I just don't like having to rub it in. I feel like you cover, like with the sprays, you just cover so much more area, and with the lotions, like if you miss a spot, it's it's very easy to miss a spot. I always keep like a body splash um, in my beach bag or even when I go to the pool just because I feel like throughout the day you get sweaty and you just want to smell good and pick me up so I just took this one. This is my absolute favorite one. I don't use a lot of body sprays. I use this one and the, body, the uh, Victoria's Secret Pink. Um, this one's my absolute favorite. It's from Bath and Body Works, the White Tea and Ginger. They don't sell this anymore. It's actually, they sell it online, but whenever their semi-annual sale comes and they get like their older products in, I always stock up on this. It's my absolute favorite set and it smells so good as like a summertime, springy, outdoors, like fresher. I've never gotten sick of it. It's, it just smells amazing. I also have in here a mini deodorant. Um, this is just Lady Speed Stick. I haven't found a good like natural deodorant yet. I'm still still on the hunt for that. And then I have my Kula face sunscreen. I usually have SPF in my moisturizer for the day. Um, I'm using the Orgi Origins um, A Perfect World. But um, you obviously want to reapply your face sunscreen throughout the day. So Nick and I both use this. This is SPF 30 and it, again it's mineral, organic, and um, it's scented cucumber but I don't really smell cucumber. It doesn't really have a scent to me at all. But I love this, and it's water resistant up to 80 minutes, and I can't say enough about this. It's really good stuff. And I know, um, I usually get mine from Hot Look. I know J. Crew just started selling the face one, which is exciting. It's easier to get to. I also just have a nail file thrown in here. You just never know when you're going to have a snag or need a file. And then I have two lip balms. This one has, like, more color to it. This is the Sleek Pout Polish in Pink Cadillac. It's more of, like, if you want, like, a color on your lips. Um, probably not the greatest idea to have lips, lip balm in here um, because it's going to be hot and it'll melt. However, if it melts, like it's in a pot, so it's not like a lipstick where it's going to ruin the product. And I have also the Coors Lip Butter in Jasmine. So I have both of these in here. Okay, the other thing I have in here, these are lily pads. And if you are not breastfeeding or never to breastfed, you probably have no clue what these are. But they are essentially like nipple covers, reusable nipple covers, that prevents leakage. And I really don't, I love these, but I don't use them like on a daily basis. I just use the disposable ones. But you can swim with these on, you can sweat. Um, you can essentially wear these every day. I just prefer the disposable ones. I specifically got these for my bathing suit, to put inside my bathing suit. Just don't want to have like the disposable ones. If, if I go in the water and they get wet, then they just kind of defeats the whole purpose. You're going to have to keep like getting new ones out. These are actually okay to get wet. You can swim with them on. They're just little um, like silicone covers and like I said they prevent leakage too which is really nice because you don't want, you don't want to have to like worry, be worrying about that. But you can just stick them on right over your nipple not to be TMI and they just they just adhere to your skin and you just put your bathing suit on so you don't have to worry about like big bulk, bulky disposable pads within your bathing suit and um, they're very easy to get on and off and then you just wash them and then they're good for the next time. So I think it's really important to have these if you are breastfeeding um, and you don't want to have to worry about the disposable ones getting wet or being like bulky. Sometimes they're obvious that you have them in. Um, so if you have them like in a bikini, everyone's going to know. Just like a side note, even if you're not going to be needing them to swim or anything, I wore these once. I had a massage recently and I didn't want to have to worry about like leaking in the middle of my massage because I had my top and my bra off. So I put these on and perfect. It didn't leak at all and I was I was in good shape. I also have my beach towel and I just recently got this. One of my friends on Instagram, Vanessa, had posted a picture of a beautiful um, wild fox like, beach cover up and so so she put this bee in my bonnet so I went to search it actually found the same like saying on a beach towel. So instead of the cover up I got the beach towel and it's this really pretty light pink. This also comes in black. I didn't want to get black because with the sun it would just get too hot. So I got a light pink and then the writing is in, is in um, white. It's upside down. It's a huge towel. Huge. Like here's one end and here's the other end. And it's a very nice, thick, good quality. So this is what it looks like. This is how it's really wide too. And it's it's actually taller than me. Like if I stand up, it, it goes, it's taller than me. So I'll just tell you what it says. You can look up online if you want to see an actual picture of the whole thing. It says, salty hair, coconut oil, 
big waves, hot sun, and then at the bottom it just says um, wild fox. So I love this. Perfect, appropriate for a beach vacation. I also have my Tangle Teaser and a leave-in conditioner. This is the Tresemme piece of hair on it. Um, split remedy, leave-in, split end conditioning treatment. I love having stuff like this in my beach bag for when I get out of the ocean or even chlorine because as you know it could just make your hair ratty and ugh, gross. So I slip a little bit of this in, I comb it out, and then it just kind of dries, dries to like nice beachy waves. So I think it's always important to have this in here. And the last thing I have in here is a magazine. Um, I'll probably have a new one by the time we're at the beach next week, but this is just the one I'm reading right now. It's Us Weekly about The Bachelorette. So that's everything, and let me just show you the inside of this bag. It's this bright poppy orange. It has um, this big zip compartment on this side on the leather. It says, Hello Gorgeous. And then it has two smaller separate compartments. Probably have like my lip balm in one and like my iPhone in the other. And within all the sell and dot bags it has this little compartment here for your bottle of water which I think is just genius. The other thing I am going to put in here, it's in my diaper bag right now, is I'm going to put a bottle of hand sanitizer in there just because I'm not going to have access to a sink and running water and soap so hand sanitizer will just have to do the trick while we're on the beach but I definitely think that's important to keep in your bag. I just wanted to show you quick if you snap down the sides I need it to be bigger, obviously, because I have to fit all that stuff. But if you wanted to have this, like, as an actual handbag, if you collapse the sides, it kind of makes it more, like, into a satchel. So it's a very versatile bag. Really, really cute. Um, I bought this more so for a beach bag. So that is that. I also do have my classic Stella and Dot bag, a linen and neon yellow color. I'm going to be taking that one as well. Um, just for like extra stuff. I know Nick's gonna have stuff and if I have if I need like Baby stuff. I'm gonna put them in that bag But this is gonna be like my mommy bag all of the stuff that I need for myself And then I'll have that bag for everybody else's stuff so, so that's my beach bag and that's everything that's inside of it I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you made a video like this Please leave it as a video response below and I will talk to you soon